get science through art? Paintings like these show that the most difficult math and science concepts can be turned into formulas that are fun to learn. Deep down, we are all artists. It would be interesting to be able to teach math to students through art, because no one is afraid of art class, but some are afraid of science classes. Nineteen artists from Latin America and the Caribbean competed in the exhibit Un Comienzo Igual. The goal was to show how accessible science and math can be. Silvia Monge, a watercolorist from Costa Rica, had fun with the numbers and won the top prize. In this piece, you can see bird flying. The piece is called Flying High because that is what they do if they can see these subjects as something beautiful that can help them. Susana Sulik, one of the five finalists of more than 250 participants, was inspired by the fundamental unity of life to open a window onto the mysteries of science. I probably chose it because the images of cells seemed fun, or maybe because there's a kind of scientific imagination when it comes to physics. With this exhibit, the Inter-American Development Bank reaffirms its commitment to innovative education strategies to address the most difficult subjects. International standardized tests show that when it comes to math and science, the region's children have the lowest scores in the world, making it more urgent than ever to explore new teaching methods. La meta principal de esa eh, iniciativa del Banco Interamericano de Desarrollo the IDB's main goal with this initiative is to make sure that the region's children live up to their full potential in math and science. We want to support the development of pedagogical models, of know-how and teaching skills, of monitoring and evaluation systems, so that we can track the goals we aspire to reach. The meeting of art and science provides a conceptual inspiration for the works of Un Comienzo Igual, the time to explore creative methods has come. It's time for students from Latin America and the Caribbean to shine in scientific fields where most of the jobs are needed.